everything is very simple. We will let them sleep when they let her speak. Mr. Sajjan. Trying to wear the Liberals down, the Conservatives forced an all-night vote-a-thon in protest of the SNC-Lavalin affair. With every passing hour. The next question is on opposed vote number four, vote number 76, vote number 133. The, question the opposition tried to pressure the government into waiving all confidentiality around the controversy because it says some involved have been silenced, an argument that is gaining traction thanks to Jane Philpott. In an interview with McLean's magazine, the former cabinet minister accused her party of trying to shut down the affair. There's much more to the story that should be told, she said. I believe we actually owe it to Canadians as politicians to ensure that they have the truth. The issue of privilege is not one to take lightly in any government. The Prime Minister does not appear ready to waive any more rules, but members of his team, including longtime Liberal MP Judy Scro, say that is not necessary. They're under no restrictions. They can walk into the House of Commons right now and say parliamentary privilege, Mr. Speaker, and say whatever they want. Scro says both Philpott and former Minister Jody Wilson-Raybould enjoy what is known as parliamentary privilege, a set of rules that protect MPs from legal consequences when speaking in certain places, including the House of Commons. So there's absolutely no reason that we have to have all this innuendo lurking around about this, that and the rest of it. That's the platform. As parliamentarians, we have the House of Commons and that's where they both should be going. This former House of Commons law clerk agrees both former ministers would be protected by privilege. In my view, they are totally at liberty to say whatever they want in the House or in appearing before a committee. So far, no Liberal is publicly calling for Phil Pot to be turfed over her comments. Well, I know that I really value having her in caucus. I value her as a member. But the patience of some is wearing thin. Yeah, I think that there has been political damage, I agree with that. You know, it's one thing to take a hit from the opposition uh, or circumstances beyond, um, beyond caucus or cabinet. It's, it's another thing to take political hits from your own people. Katie is outside the House of Commons tonight. Okay, some Liberals clearly now expressing frustration, Katie. So why don't Phil Pott and Jody Wilson-Raybould just quit caucus? Jane Philpott acknowledged in that interview that what she said publicly has hurt some of her colleagues. And that hurt might run really deep, given that Philpott was so respected by her peers as an effective leader. Philpott says she's still a Liberal. She does not want to see Andrew Scheer become Prime Minister, so she's staying on the team. But moving forward, Jane Philpott, uh, as, as she has said in that interview, part of the reason why she is speaking out is that she's hoping to make the Liberal Party the best version of the party it can be. Rosie. Okay. All right, Katie Simpson here in Ottawa tonight for us. Thank you, Katie.